Hey guys, I'm sure you've come across those amazing Subway Surfers edits that are taking the internet by storm, they're super trendy and so much fun to watch. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to create your own version of this edit using Filmora 14, and trust me, it's easier than you think. So, let's see the preview. Open Wondershare Filmora and go to Project Settings. From here, you can choose the default aspect ratio of your video. We will choose our custom aspect ratio adjust the aspect ratio to 1080p and 1440p. And set the frame rate according to your needs. You can add your media files from here. Just drag and drop your music and clips into the timeline. Adjust your clip like me. To add beats to your music right click on the music. Go to the smart tool and choose beat detection. It will automatically add beats to your music. For better beat detection, go to the smart tool again. Choose beat option and adjust the highlight beat to 1. This ensures perfect beats for your music. Now, go to the last frame of the clip, and click here. It will freeze the frame and save it as a PNG. Basically it will take a screenshot. Add this PNG to the beats. Add a circle PNG like me and make it transparent using the chroma key option like me. Adjust the PNG on the letter N to keyframe both these clips together or to give them animation. Make this a compound clip. Select both clips, right click, and make a compound clip. This will group the clips together. Now, let's add some zoom in animation using keyframes. Go to transform and add two keyframes in the clip where you want to add zoom and follow my steps. Now, add all your clips to the beats. To create a transition for the first clip, go to the first frame and freeze it. Add a freeze PNG and place it on the beats. Go to AI Tools. Dot select Quick Cutout Mode and adjust the settings like me. This will automatically remove the background in just a few steps. Next, let's create a slide up animation. Go to the basic options. Add a keyframe at the start, move five frames forward, and add another keyframe. But on the first keyframe, drag the PNG downward. This creates the transition. Now, go to the effects panel and search for the effect. Motion blur 2. Drag it on top of the clip and adjust the settings. Now, search for the effect, Extreme. Then drag it on top of the clip. Drag it in the whole clip like me, adjust its frequency to 10. Click on Render Preview to view the smooth preview. Let's add smooth speed ramping to the clips. Go to Speed. Select Speed Ramping and choose Customize Graph. Delete these two beats. 
Adjust the graph like me. Save this as a preset and rename it. Apply this graph to all the clips. Alright, let's add hard shake. Head over to effects and search for basic blur. Then, drag it over to the clip. Next, add a keyframe right at the start. Set the blur value to 25. Move 7 frames forward, and add another keyframe. Finally, set the blur value to 0. And, split the effect here. Go to effects and search for longitudinal blur and add it to the clip. Add a keyframe at the start and set the values like me. And after one frame of basic blur add another keyframe. Set the blur and speed value to zero. Next, search for the extreme effect. Drag it to the timeline. Cut the effect where the clip ends, like me. And add the keyframe at start and set the values like me. Add another keyframe at the middle of the longitudinal blur and again set the values Add another keyframe at the end of the clip and set the values Go 3 frames backward and add another keyframe and set the values. Now, add an adjustment layer from here. And drag it on top of the clip. Keep the duration of the adjustment layer as long as the clip's duration. Add flash white effect in the adjustment layer. Go to effect adjustment. Add the keyframe at the start and set the frequency to 100. Add another keyframe at the end of basic blur. Set the frequency to 65. In the adjustment layer, go to compositing choose blend mode to overlay and set the opacity to 12%. Now, go to stock media, add a white solid into the timeline. Zoom it across the clip. Add keyframe at start and set the opacity to 100. Add another keyframe where longitudinal effect ends and set the opacity to 0. Change blend mode to overlay. Make another copy of it, and place it like me. Now follow my steps. Now, copy and paste all of these effects in other clips. Hey. 
Let's add CC to our edit, add a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and search for smart vignette. Add it into the adjustment layer. Adjust the effects values like me. Now, go to Boris FX, add BCC plus Glow. Drag it to the adjustment layer and adjust the settings like me. Now, add further color correction as you need it. Final preview. Export your edit. Alright, before we wrap up, let's quickly recap the AI magic in Filmora 14. From auto reframe and motion tracking to its incredible speech to text tool, these AI features save so much time and make your edits look professional with minimal effort. Plus, the effects library, it's massive. You can instantly transform your footage with cinematic filters or quirky animations to match any vibe. So if you're looking for a powerful editor that's beginner-friendly yet professional grade, Filmora 14 is your best bet. You can download Filmora from this video's description or pin comment below. Try it out, and let me know your favorite feature in the comments below. So, thanks for watching.